Hello, hello, it's Anna and I am the founder of Women's Health and Fitness Club, We Are Fit Attitude, lovingly known as WAFA. And th today's interview is really special because the person you see there is Natalie and Natalie has been with WAFA for almost two years now, but Natalie joined as a member initially and is now our beloved member manager. And so Natalie actually uh, works in the WAFA team and looks after our members as they go through their health journey with us. But uh, so this is quite an interesting one today, really exciting. So Natalie, let's go right back because you've definitely been on a journey with us for sure. So I can, I, I can pretty much remember the conversation we had almost two years ago, but could you just go back to that time before WAFA and what life was like and sort of what made you decide to give us a go? Life was pretty grim. <clears throat> I was about 46. I just had um, my second daughter. I was feeling really, really low, no energy. And you think because it's you're a mother and you're doing things that that's why you have no low, no energy. I was just comfort eating all the time. And I was feeling really, really low. So then I thought, God, God, is this perimenopausal or am I quite depressed? So I went to the doctors. They gave me some antidepressants and I didn't take them because I thought, let me just try something else before I go down that 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 route. Um, saw Wafer on, on the Facebook page and my husband was like, just go and give it a go. And it was kind of, it is nerve wracking just making that first call and talk, I was talking to you. You're very nice, of course, but it was just, I think <laughs> it was then. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was just because I had to focus on myself at that point, talking to somebody on the phone and focusing on me. And it, that was kind of hard to kind of realize that, you know, I had to change my way if I wanted to feel better in myself. So um, had the phone call with you and it was like, okay, well, I'm doing this now. And then it was like, oh no, what have I done? Can I commit to six weeks? I don't know if I can. Um, you know, you make start making excuses for why you shouldn't go on with it. Um, but I did. Went to my first class and I was like, oh, these women are really, really good. And they're, they're strong. I, but I want to be that, you know, I want to be strong. Um, and so that motivated me and the warm welcome from everybody was just lovely it was just and we met a few other people there that was starting in the same day as me and it was really nice so all on the same level um and never look back never look back you're right you haven't looked back and so you did the six weeks then you moved into monthly membership and do you remember i mean god there's so much to talk about here do you remember one of your greatest achievements with well, I mean, you, how i see it is being on this journey for two years, every every so often is an achievement. You know, you're always breaking your own sort of personal records, whether it would be lifting a certain weight or um, doing a certain exercise that in the beginning you struggled with. But now, because we had three different levels within each exercise, now before I was starting on the, the lower level, and then now I can go, you know, to the, the tougher level, um, doing our challenges as we do as WAFA, um that which was a challenge huge in particular thing. which particular challenge <laughs> well the one that i needed therapy for afterwards it was the the three peaks challenge i think which, we all did <laughs> yeah uh, the thing is uh, this was which i love about wafer it's not just about the exercise and the healthy living it's about the community and putting you in a position where you'd never think you would do something so three peaks have never been on my mind and to be honest i never even heard of three peaks until wafer and it was, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I? Um, and I'm glad I did because it was something I'll never repeat again. But I'm glad it was a personal achievement that, because when people, you talk to people and go, oh, I tried the three peaks. When, oh my God, you did the three peaks. You're like, oh, is this a big thing? Is it really a big thing? And it, and it was, when you look back on it now, it was such a huge personal achievement for, for me. I mean, I didn't do all three. I did the, the Ben Nevis and then the second one, um scaffold pike I mind just my knees were swollen i just couldn't it wouldn't take me anywhere well, well let's not forget that prior to the three peaks in our training you got injured so the fact that 
you and and actually quite badly because it was your foot but you still did it and I remember you charging up Ben Nevis I remember you you just had this kind of focus and it was like don't mess with Natalie just keep going Natalie and it was like it was quite emotional for me as well because I knew how big it was for you to kind of get up to the top and you did it um Absolutely. and and you know and that 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 was it you know I mean the three peaks was very difficult for me physically I found it so hard so it doesn't matter that you didn't do well we none of us did all three because of the weather but but your achievement, it was such a big thing after being injured and still you didn't cancel. You were like, I'm going to do this. I know. The doctor was like, no, I don't think you should go. The hospital was saying, no, I don't think you should go. And I'm like, no, I've done well. I'm going to go because I had it in my head. It was like a goal that I had to do because I felt that I'd let myself down if I didn't go through with it. Even if I didn't even do any of them, just, do, just be there, be part of the experience. Even if it was half of one. I wanted to be there and be part of WAFA because that's what you feel like it is a very strong community and I wanted to be part of that. I didn't want to miss out. Yes, well, you didn't, you didn't. And well, there's more challenges. We did the 12 hour online workout as well. I mean, oh yes, come on. But, um, and then, and then one day you and I were having a chat in the hall and you were talking about, you know, how much you love WAFA and, um, and that's not me just saying that because, but you genuinely were. And something in my mind was like, oh, I wonder if Natalie could come in to help me. And so we had that conversation and you became, you started helping me with talking to new ladies as they were applying for Body Fix in Six and had some, you know, you were actually helping sort of talk them through what to expect with the program and, and encourage them to sign up, which, which kind of came with its challenges. But you had that story and you could tell them that story, which is really important because you've experienced it and you've lived it. But then now today you are our member manager and managing all of our members. And I think that's, that because you've had got the story to tell, it's very you you resonate so well with the members and and where they're at. Absolutely, I think it's when you know you hear some of the members say certain things or they come to you with certain issues. You, I can truly hand on heart say, yeah, I understand where you're coming from because it's it's not an easy journey. Because how I, how I see it is you've learnt. A different way of life for so many years and now you're you're saying to yourself right you've got to change your lifestyle so it's almost like you know deprogramming in a, 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 a program and you've got to upload a new a new version of it and it does take time to get used to um and I think you know it's not a quick fix I wouldn't say it's a quick fix at all because if it, you're really serious about your health then this is a lifestyle change this is not oh uh, you know uh, uh, six weeks and then you're going to be like you know size zero and or whatever you know your your goals are it's not about that it's about changing your your habits in life and sustaining that in order for you to be healthier throughout throughout your life and I thank I totally agree with you and I think that this is why I love having you as part of the team because we've talked a lot about well you hear a lot of the conversations about you know women come into the WAFA world and 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 their focus is they want to lose weight because they think that if they lose weight, that's going to make them happy. Yes, losing weight, you do feel better. There's no question about it. Getting back into your clothes that you can't fit into, feeling sort of lighter, more springy, having, you know, it comes with it more energy. But but there's a little bit more to it than that. And I think you, you touched on that in our check-in last night. I think it's... Um, I... I used to obsess about diets. So I used to do all the certain names of, of diet programs and then you'd obsess about this and, oh, how many calories is this? And how many points is this? And you'd weigh yourself and then you'd always get disappointed if one week it wasn't so, you know, you didn't, you know, lose enough weight. And your whole life, I felt that my whole life was consumed by a diet. And that's why 
I, I hate use personally, I don't like using the word diet because I don't think a diet is sustainable. A diet for me is a quick fix, but it's not a lifestyle change. And um, I, I, it took a long while for my mind to, to get used to that because you know, you're obsessed with weight. Every, you know, most women are obsessed with weight. And so it took a long time for my brain to, to say, actually, really, what, what is your goal? What do you want? And I want to be happy. I want to be healthy, happy, strong. You know, I'm coming into my 50s and I, I want to, you know, be a healthy, you know, um, pensioner. So this is my this is a start of my journey to become healthy for the future. Um, and yeah. How do you think that you have got out of the this cycle of yo-yo dieting or obsessing about dieting? What what is it that has changed for you so that you're yes, if you lose some weight, it's it's a, an added bonus or whatever, but actually it's more about how you're feeling. What what is it? I think because I think I realized that the yo-yo diet, dieting was a quick fix and you'd feel really good for a certain amount of time. And then you sort of think, oh, I was really good now. So let me just go go and have uh, this big meal or have this snack and, you know, and go out and drink loads. Um, and then you'd come back down again. So it wasn't, again, that feeling, uh, the feeling that I wanted to maintain when I lose weight was to carry it through, but it never, I never carried it through. It always was peaks and troughs of happiness, sadness, happiness, depression, happiness. Why, why can't I control my eating? Why can't I control my, so it's just like, my head was just like, you know, a mishmash of, of so many things. And I thought being with Wafa and the support of Wafa has made me think that, you know, small steps, take small steps first. Don't think about the big, the bigger, your goal is to lose weight, to be healthy, whatever but take those small steps. Don't, don't run before you, can, before you can walk. And I think just take it, for me, it was now, instead of my eating habits, it was, I want to be healthy. I want to be fit and strong. So I worked on that for, my, that was my sort of my main focus. And then, then came the sort of healthy eating and looking at my eating habits, um, which goes along with, with the, the training that we do as well. And also, because you've made the choices, we've obviously guided you and given you, you know, the sort of tools, but it's been your choices. You've made the choices because you have got your family to look after as well. It's not Natalie on her own, but actually you've got your friends and well, your family, most importantly, to, to manage. And, and actually, it's you've had to make those choices along the way. Because I think, you know, as, as, as women, as mothers, you tend to put yourself last on the list and you, don't, you just don't really think that you're important enough to, to look at yourself. And like I said, people always make excuses. Oh, I don't have time or the kids take up my time. But, you know, here I am. I've got, you know, my husband, my two kids. I've got a teenager and, and a toddler. You, ha you, you find time. If you really want it that much, you will find time to focus on yourself and be a, a you know a, ha a happier healthier being very very wise words mm. and I, I this is going to sound I, do I ask this question I'm going to ask it anyway because I ask it at the end of of you know and every, every interview but um you know because actually <laughs> you're now working at WAFA so it might seem a little bit odd but you know with all those those ladies who are um sitting on the fence and and sort of watching those Facebook ads what would you say to them to to consider us I would say you know what nothing ventured nothing gained you know if you're looking at us then you, obviously there is a reason so just I know it can be quite you know, daunting starting something new it, everything you know that's life it is daunting but I tell you, after your first class, you won't look back. You will feel so much better. And even that just one class will make you feel better. Because um, like I said, you I've never met anybody that re when you talk to them after a class, regrets going to the class. Never. You know, because it, you, you're, you know, your endorphins are high. You feel quite, quite high and you feel like you've, you've achieved something. And I feel for those that have tried the gyms before in the past, the gyms don't really care about you how I see it, because I used to go to the gyms and, you know, when I was kind of 
in my late twenties, early thirties. And I used to go to the gym and do the same old exercises. Nobody's motivating you. Um, and you don't progress because you're doing the same exercise. There's nobody there saying, right, I think you can use a heavier weight or I think you should you know, do this next thing. So there's nobody's pushing you and you lose motivation really quickly. So if you want somewhere that will support you, that will um, make sure that you're turning up to classes. That's that your job. Kind of, yeah, <laughs> that, will push, that will push you to be your better self. There's no better place than WAFA, absolutely no better. And I'm not just saying this because I work here. I work here because I think that way. Yeah, you do. And you're very passionate about it, which is exactly why you're the perfect addition to the team. And, and I guess actually more importantly now, because you are looking after our members and especially those ladies who've come into the WAFA world and, and are starting their journey with us, what would, you, what would be your best piece of advice to them as they come into the WAFA world? So, like I said before, take small steps, you know, because I think it's easily to feel disappointed when you think of something big and then you don't achieve it. Just take every week as it comes um, and you set your goals for each week. That's what I would say. Brilliant. Natalie, love you. Thank you so much <laughs> for doing that. I really appreciate it. And you know, I, as I say, I am eternally grateful that you, after our conversation, that you said that you would come into the WEF world and help me, um, you know, work with these women and our members to better their health and, and have an impact on them. So thank you so much. Long may it last. I'm, I'm afraid I'm never letting you go either. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to leave you either. So. Screaming. <laughs> no, but thank you very much indeed. Really appreciate that.